what it takes to market. Once you find a secure program, advertising should be no problem. Traffic is a major hassle to the majority of unsuccessful internet marketers, but just think beyond that. Most folk build a website or join a program and fail at getting sufficient traffic. Sufficient traffic requires more input than the average marketer is accustomed to. Things can happen fast or they can happen slow. An important issue is giving to get. The online market is generally like a street market, but much bigger. The noun market is what the verb implies. Market is a verb and a noun. A seller must offer a product or service in order to get paid. Success to a seller dictates that the offering must be made to people who are willing to pay a price. A successful marketer must cut through opposition. The use of redundancy can create a hypnotic effect. Success is about advertising over and over, after testing. Imagine a 10-step stairway and you're only prepared to walk 6 steps. You would not be able to completely walk up nor down the stairs, for obvious reasons. A successful marketer makes preparations to deal with adverse conditions. Don't expect instant success, although it does happen. Be prepared to test the waters. Testing the waters could mean a bunch of things. It basically means find out what it takes to make one sale. Once you find out what it actually takes for one sale, you'll should easily know what it takes to make several sales. Your first sale should be tracked so that you can duplicate more. Point one of the big question marketers have is this. How much money should they spend on advertising or should they spend any at all? The answer to the question varies because each niche and person is different. Look at it this way. A bicycle won't get you anywhere unless you get on the bicycle and apply pressure to the pedals. Maybe you could coast or run and push. We also ask this question. What's the use of getting on the bicycle without knowing exactly where you're going? If you pedal hard in first gear, you'll begin to move. The same amount of pressure on the pedals in third gear will move the bicycle rapidly if it has already built up momentum. You can see that marketing is dependent upon cause and effect. The bicycle in my example represents money making programs. You need to understand how much foot pressure to apply on the pedals with respect to what gears to use. This is best done by testing. Even if someone told you exactly what to do, your best results would arrive from personal experience. There is no way around personal experience. I'm not saying ride a bicycle. I'm saying test your marketing technique. There are many variables that testing will expose. Testing is almost everything when it comes to successful marketing. Pick and chose methods to programs without getting frustrated on poor results. Take the bitter with the sweet and remember to accentuate the positive. The expression Rome wasn't built in a day is very relevant to marketing.